This is a regular sized first edition base set pack of Pokemon cards. And this is a small mini size box of first edition Pokemon cards, which we're gonna be opening up today. What up, Hard Squad, and welcome to another video. You heard that right. This mini booster box of cards and several other ones will be opened up today with a chance of pulling the first edition Charizard, which I literally actually pulled it this past weekend. Video in the eye and in the description if you want to go check it out. But you are seeing on screen what i mean really looks like an actual size actual size excuse me it's early an actually first edition booster box now obviously this one's not in english but i don't have my english one here at my studio i keep it locked away so the size proportions are the same though as this box to an english box so looking at it from all angles and it even has the wrapping on it, which is usually clear, but this just feels like some type of plasticky wrap. We will be opening up this one, but wait, there is more. In this box, it says, Leanheart, congrats on hitting 1 million subscribers. Here's to your next milestone. Please enjoy this mini gift. There's the Insta, at Rush for Tacos. You can go check them out if you like what you see. But this was actually upside down. You, you gotta check this out. These are like seriously, like the cutest things in the entire world. It's a jungle booster box. And it's a fossil booster box. Look how cute these are. Yes, they should have actual either packs or cards on the inside. I've actually opened up some of these before. Uh, first video is back in the year 2016. Long ago, I know. And uh, we opened up like packs or a box of this. It was crazy. Look at them all stacked up. Like, can you not tell me that is the cutest thing ever to have this like on your shelf or something or in the background of a video? Because everybody makes videos. There's also these, which I didn't see. They do look like they may be some sort of custom cards that they made. Wow. These are not only custom cards. These are fresh new Pokemon. Titanium reminds me of the song Titanium. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to dance today. Glideon. Hopefully I'm providing, uh, saying these correctly. Oblivion. Well, can you tell these are all evolutions? Sterleon. They are very, very nice in their first edition too. Larvion. Gonna pass on that one. Melion. Toxion. Also gonna pass on that one. Obsidian. I like that name. I'm kind of digging the name. Wyvion. And then missing no. My f actually it has to be missing non. You have to have the yawn at the end. But those are really cool. Very, very like original and creative with those. So we are gonna check and open up as many of these until we get kind of tired of it. Hopefully we won't, or at least get the Charizard. And then we got real Pokemon cards coming up afterwards in a Vivid Voltage booster box opening, searching not only for this guy in hyper rare form, a card going for $250, mainly wanting that Leon full art or hyper rare card, to be honest. Only worth around $20 to $25 each, but it's beautiful. So, I am gonna get straight into this box, but before we do, as always, if you can, please consider subscribing, join the Heart Squad, join this community, and as always, leave a like, let us gibberish <laughs> let's get this video to whatever you want i don't care i'm just glad y'all decided to join me on today's video let's take this all off it looks like there's tape at the bottom of it okay Whoa. no i wanted to save the box this time rush you're gonna have to send me uh another one of these like sealed i want to save it but there is the box let's are you ready? $400,000 gone down the drain. We opened it. There's actually little packs on the inside. Like seriously, I want another one of these for the collection. These are awesome. Look, there's packs. Packs. These are like the coolest things ever. Uh, where's Venusaur? There we go. 
There's the three packs. Well, just for right now purposes. I mean, look at that. You got everything. Like an original first edition, non-first edition pack. Taking a look. <laughs> These are unlimited packs. It was a resealed box. What were you thinking? So they actually are unlimited packs in a first edition box. I'm going to keep this box though. This really is so, so cool. That's awesome. Uh, so let's get into a few of these packs and actually just kind of see what this is all about. And then uh, we'll open up some of those other boxes and uh, go from there. So I'm wondering if all oh, the cards on the inside are first edition. Can you believe that energy? <laughs> energy. Uh, is there a card trick to these? But just so y'all can kind of uh, hear it. These aren't just like random pieces of paper. These are like glossy, pretty strong, shiny cards. So that is a plus. That's very, very cool. So Ratata, Magmar, Energy. I'll just go straight to the to the non-rare. I guess we get no, no rares. Or is Farfetch the rare? No, Farfetch was the common back then. So, so weird opening these up. But let's see. Uh, I don't know the pull ratios for this. I actually was kind of expecting a package like this to come, but I didn't know exactly when it was going to arrive. And so I went to my PO box and it arrived. Oh, a Gyarados! I'm very, very excited. Let's actually take a closer look at that. I can't believe it. One, they're square cut cards. Those are super rare, uh, but really, I mean, it really does. Look, like this is quality. I'm really, really like centering is, uh, I take that comment back. The centering is terrible. No, seriously though, you can see the shiny, the holofoil part on uh, just the holographic -y part. It's not over like the whole card. Just like, just, excuse me, burp. Just like a regular card. That, my friends, is awesome. Let's just take a quick look at the rest of the cards. <laughs> I think there may have been a card trick. I think it may be the third card. So, is there even 11 additional cards in these things? I don't think so, Buster. But let's uh let's take a let's do the card trick just for this one. Like I think this one's the very very off center, uh, hopefully holographic maybe. Oh my gosh, it's a rare Pokémon breeder. And oh, it's the Metapod. That's crazy. So, very, very cool. And uh, it was the Pokemon Breeder for that one. Uh, really wanting to pull a Charizard, because I think that would be cool to pull a mini one to go exactly with, and I'll try to go through these fast, like I'm on to do the card trick every single time. So if we don't get a uh, holographic or anything, we'll just move on to the next one. And, oh, all right. We struck out. We struck out with that pack. But it's okay, each of these packs are worth $10,000 to say it like that. Oh, we got Squirtle. Is this the first edition Squirtle? It is, so going through it, going through. Is that a uh, the side of the Diglett card? Yeah. All right, so nothing crazy in that. Man, have we op how many packs have we opened up and we have not gotten, like only, we've just gotten one holographic. And it was the Gyarados, which is really nice. <gasps> Alakazam Holographic! Ah, oh, that's so cool. Very, very cool. See, I gotta get a master set in all of these cards. Like, okay, to be completely honest, we, we will get into the other boxes, but uh, this is kind of fun. Like, even on a smaller scale, slash taking Leonhart 20 years to open pack scale. Wait, that's the rare! To last. <gasps> it's the Charizard! So a two for one special has been pulled. Oh my gosh. So last is really like rare. Look at that. Our job is finuto, is finished. The uh, world's smallest first edition Charizard has been pulled. Wow. Beautiful. Well, we're done with that, and plus so I can keep some of those packs sealed for the collection. Here are the other two boxes, which we will get into right now. Um, I, I guess I should try to keep these boxes too, but I'd prefer to have sealed ones, so I'm gonna get some sealed ones. Uh, but let's take a look. Oh, that's so, oh, 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 oh goodbye PSA 10. These are all uh, unlimited ones. 
But that is so cool. That is so cool. No, no, no to Wigglytuffs. I need a Flareon. There we go. So, no beat. No beat. So there we go. Flareon, Wiggly, and a Scyther. Uh, just for time's sake, maybe I'll just open up like a couple of them. Just so we can see. Or none, if I can't open them up. Um, just so we can see what the cards look like on the inside. So let's, uh, you know, in haste or not so haste and uh, see what we can do. Get that first edition Jolteon. And away we go, Rapid Dash. And uh, we are done already. What are the odds of that? The pull rates for these things are astronomical and we did it in the first pack magic, a first edition. Jolteon has been pulled, and just like that, we are finished and moving on. I'll put that in the back over there. We are moving on to first edition, and we want that. First edition Dragonite is the most valuable card, other and my favorite card, to be completely honest, in Fossil. Other than what's really the most valuable is if you can get a first edition Lapras in absolute perfect condition, which is very difficult, and to get it, grade it. Obviously, I will try my best at Beckett to get these graded and uh, see what we can do in that regard. But once again, wow. Well, you don't see that every day. So these are the actual real. First edition stamps are confirmed. First edition stamps are confirmed. I know that was out of focus. Wait a sec, it'll be in focus. There we go. Very cool. Very, very cool. We gotta go with Lapras. Just like leaving it on the desk like that with all the packs on the inside is, uh, it's just awesome just to see it like that. So let's see what we can do. Maybe get first pack magic like the Jolteon one and away we go, a ditto. Look at the shiny foil on the back. It's like little stars and stuff. That's cool. Slowbro, Tentacruel. <laughs> we pulled the Lapras everybody. <laughs> so yeah, get once again, two for one. All right, so we'll go with one more pack. You know, we did get a hollow in the first pack. I don't want to leave it off on a lull, but uh, before we get into that vivid voltage, let's see what we can do. And, uh, oh, there we go. You got two horsies. There you go. We're having horsey for dinner tonight. So very, very cool. Thank you so much for sending me those. And uh, that was awesome. We got the Charizard, we got the Jolteon, and now it's time to get a Leon trainer card. I am, that's like the Nessa one, to be completely honest, is more valuable. But to me, we got to get the card that was clearly made for us in this community, the Leon card. And uh, here we go. Let's start with this pack. Can y'all please blow on this pack? That's for good luck. Thank you. It's like a collective blow of like 50,000 people blowing on that pack. It's going to work. It's going to work. Or at least for one of these. It's so weird holding these cards. They feel so big compared to the mini ones, obviously. Lane Hard Trademark Pattern it Guess the Energy Psychic. Wow. This really does so... It feels so much weirder. <laughs> Opening up, going through regular size Pokemon cards compared to the smallest ones. Oh, I forgot to say. What? Is this for ants? I have to do the Zoolander reference. Well, next time, there's always the next pack, but I had to do the Zoolander reference. Amazing movie. It actually came out like 20 years ago, I believe. I believe. Maybe 19. Um, four cards, lightning energy, and away we go with the second pack. Vivid Voltage will be Shiny Star V coming up on the channel. Hopefully this week, I'm Dialga. I'm actually recording this video ahead of time um, of the week, obviously. But Shiny Star V, I ordered a case of boxes. We gotta, gotta pull that Shiny Charizard, right? Lightning Energy. And uh, there's lots of other amazing cards. It's that's uh, basically gonna be coming out in February from my recollection. And it's gonna be Hidden Fates 2.0. Whether you Talonflame V. Whether you are uh, I think almost everybody's a fan of Hidden Fates. It's just a fun set that you can continuously open because, uh, you know, you want to get that sh certain shiny Pokemon that you just love. Fire energy. And I'm, uh, I'm already excited. I think I saw a shiny Ditto, shiny Lapras, lots of amazing Pokemon to get. Charmander and a Genesect. 
I really feel like I have not pulled a Genesect Holographic too, too often. So I know it's not really worth much, but just for random laughs and giggles, uh, Fighting Energy have not done, gotten the Guess the Energy yet, but that's okay. Charmander, Chanot, Joltik, and Samurott, non-holographic, but um, Vivid Voltage, very, very fun and exciting set. Um, but I'm ready for some fire energy. Uh, well, I won't be ready because I still need to pull the Leon card, but, uh, uh, you know, and I still haven't even pulled the English Shiny Charizard V from Champion's Path. What I'm actually trying to do is, I'm actually, why I haven't pulled it yet, and pretty much everybody else has, is because I've been waiting to go to a library in my opening up Pokemon cards at a library series, Lightning, which I'm sure many of y'all know. Very nice, rare Pokemon cards have been pulled at the library, and that is where I like to attempt to pull the Shiny Charizard. But, because of, you know, everything going on, I, you know, it had closed down. Now it's open again, but you can't really go inside. You can just do, like, drive-bys. <laughs> and, uh... So now I'm just having to wait until Fighting Energy, until they basically open up the inside, and then I will try again. So that's kind of what's happening with the Shiny Charizard from Champion's Path. However, there is one in, wait for it, Zero Aura. Man, the rest of this box is gonna be uh, some big hits. We've only pulled one ultra rare V, ultra rare card so far. Uh, so, uh, but Shiny Star V is gonna be exciting. I'm excited for that. Lightning Energy, there are God Packs. You heard that right, just like the Tag All-Stars Japanese pack, there are God Packs. I believe the ratio is like one out of, was it like 600 packs? Uh, you get a pack that looks like this, but it is just chock full with ultra rares and above, or at least shiny Pokemon are old cards and above. Absolutely crazy, would be fire energy. Would be very, very exciting to actually get a pack like that, because when I was opening up Tag All-Stars, and I did open up a decent amount, uh, did not get in any God Packs, but the whole concept of it is, uh, for myself, I think it's such a neat concept. It just keeps you guessing every single time. Like, yeah, it's awesome to have great chase cards, but when you have a certain type of pack, Metal Energy, I was about to say Fighting Energy and I changed my mind there. When you have certain types of packs that are just so rare and special, that is what just makes it even more exciting. And when you finally open up the pack and Deancey, it's the hollow party today. And you finally open up that pack and you're like, did we just, is it happening? Is it happening? It's happening. And you go through each of the cards, fire energy, a hey, pat's on back. One at a time, like, wow, whoa, woo-wee. And it's all shiny Pokemon and above. That is just that would be such an amazing feeling. So to the people that have already opened up boxes, because the official release was uh, a few days ago, uh, congrats. I would really like to know more as far as the pore goes for those types of packs. Dark Energy. We have gotten the Guess the Energy today, so I'm very, very happy. And this is a Vivid Voltage Booster Box, so we technically should be getting some hits soon. Weedle and Togekiss V. Well, there is a minor hit. By the way, those are really, really cute. Reminds me of the, the child, or Baby Yoda, basically, is what he's called from Mandalorian, which, uh, by the time this video is up, I believe this week, uh, Lightning Energy is going to be, and I won't say spoilers or anything, just in case y'all haven't watched it or, you know, haven't watched last week's episode, um, but Dave Filoni, I believe, is directing the episode coming up this Friday. Amazing Rare Raikou! That's beautiful. Won't get ever tired of pulling these things. And Lucario. And, uh, so... Dave Filoni, an amazing producer, director, all of the above in the Star Wars world, honestly should have directed the movies, uh, is directing the episode for this week, Psychic Energy. And there is going to be a certain special guest, is my prediction, in this episode. So come back to this video and you can be like, he was right, he was right. But then again, I think like most people are guessing that a certain special guest will be in the episode that he directs. because. He's kind of the baby of this character. Lightning energy. But away we go. Back to the Pokemon world. Nusli, Ferris Seed, Riolu, Sandy, Whale. I'm waiting to get like an amazing pull here. Like we've gotten 
an amazing rare, pun intended, and two ultra rares. But this entire first half of the box leaves little to the imagination with the pulls. Psychic energy, I need to say wire, wire, water energy. C dot, electric, Clefairy, Fan P, and oh gosh, I can't, I, I can't even like fake excitement of pulling another Galarian Darmanitan. It is a hyper rare, it is a hyper rare, but it's a Darmanitan. Yeah, very common one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to. I just, I don't like, I'm excited, like, yay, 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 yay. But seriously, out of all of, I've already pulled that one. So it's like out of all of the ones, really, really lightning energy would have liked uh, any other one basically at this point. Not a bead though, no beads or to birds. Drillbur, Ash, Duskull, and H slash VMAX, a fairly common VMAX of the sorts, but a beautifully illustrated card or graphically illustrated card. Metal Energy, Duat Ot Ot, Opal. I don't think I've even pulled a full art or a, if that's even in a set. I know the Hyper Air is, so I would guess the full art is. Crocodile of Opal. Never wasn't the biggest fan in the game of Opal itself, but the actual town, which was a very small town, Lightning Energy, Bats on Back, which was a small town. I'm completely forgetting the name of the town, because um, I was there for like 10 seconds. You go and there's like three buildings to walk into. Let's so in the games I'm talking about, obviously. Quagsire. <gasps> I almost skipped the Rayquaza! Amazing rare! That is beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. You usually get two amazing rares per box. That is awesome. Very nice. So I will take that and let's move on to the second half of this Vivid Voltage Booster Box. Of course, uh, the Full Art Pikachu Lightning Energy. The Full Art, not the VMAX one, which we pulled several times, uh, but the Full Art one, it's like yellow and purple card. Beautiful card and uh, worth a decent amount too. Pineco, seriously, you cannot escape the tan. You can't escape the tan. Coming to a theater near- actually, not really. I, I can't believe we just keep on pulling that card. Lightning, there's always a card like that in every set. Kakuna Matata, Weedle, Talo, Sandy, Ash, Pineco, Terekion, and Electros. Uh, but still, I'm looking out for some full arts, so that's the- the Leon is the name of the game. The full art one, not even the hyper rare, Fire Energy. Uh, I like the full art one just because it has the actual colors of the cards. Uh, even getting a Nessa full art would be pretty cool. Yanma, whoop, there it is. And Memory Capsule Secret Rare. We have pulled this one before, but is that not beautiful with all the colors on the inside? Uh, very, very beautiful card. I can see why I'm attracted to these shiny pieces of cardboard. Uh, when you have ones like the Memory Capsule. So very nice secret rare. Four cards, Metal Energy. Every single time. It's always the one I'm saying a lot, and then I stop saying it the one time, and then it's it. Pick a Peck, Mudbray, Joltik, Vaporeon, and Full Metal Alcremist. All right, not the best of luck with this box in general, but uh, the amazing rare was nice, Rayquaza, Metal Energy. Let's see what we can do in this pack. Charmeleonaire, C dot, Fan P, Shoop, there it is. Pooch, Opal, and a Fortress. All right. Um, overall, my impression of Vivid Voltage. Very, ow, oh, difficult to open. Uh, very, very nice set. Lots of fantastic cards to pull. Uh, water energy. The amazing rares are amazing. And uh, a lot of the Pokemon in the illustrations for the Pokemon are great. As I show this, shoot. <laughs> Joltik and Orbeetle V. I believe there was a Orbeetle V box that just came out recently. And uh, not. Pr I'll probably open it in the future. Fire and it's not gonna get like its own video dedicated to it, but it may be just kind of like in a big opening or something. You'll see me go through it in several of the other new products. Very nice Jolteon and a Flareon. Well, we got the Vaporeon before, so not too shabby with that. 
Let's go a little bit faster just so I can get through everything. Water energy and Barascuda, non-holographic. I'm still expecting a full art trainer or another full art psychic energy. A hey, bats on back and Ampharos B. Alrighty then. That was nice. Still not a full art, but that's okay. Uh, there's the code for that. Let's go with Leaf Energy. I don't think I've said that a lot. And Grab Locked. I guess I gotta maybe be careful with the reverses just in case they are amazing rares. There's the code for that. And away we go. Lightning Energy and Ake. Another Asia Slash V. It's beautiful. Like, I have to say, this is a very beautiful card. The whole line is. But it's fairly common for an ultra rare card. Let's go. Come on. Give fire. And hey, it counts, right? I'll take it. So there I am. Leon pointing in the direction of... I probably like some lady in the audience or something, but all right. So we'll go like that and four cards, right? Metal energy and wow. We are uh, down to the final three packs as the box just kind of falls over. I really, really would like the box was like, we got the, the hyper rare. We got some good stuff in the box. Lightning energy. Pets on back and Zapdos and a Vaporeon. We got some nice stuff in the box, is what I'm saying. But uh, it's stuff that we've pulled before. Especially that Galarian Darmanitan. Um, water energy and Zygarde from Dragon Ball Z. Final pack of this Vivid Voltage booster box. Uh, there's the code. And Psychic Energy. There we go. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this opening. If you did, please consider joining the channel. My name is Lena Hart. See those videos, check them out. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.